In this video, we're going to create a WooCommerce archive view using the repeater field. This is the standard layout for WooCommerce. And here we have a view which looks very similar to the single product view created using the repeater field, which we can also use for an archive page. So to get started, what we're going to do is head over to Oxygen. We're in the templates page and we'll look for the archive for hoodies. And we will edit that template. Oxygen loading. Oxygen loaded. You'll see that we have the standard layout for WooCommerce. And we move to our structure. That's all that we have on the page. So we're going to add a new section. And in that section, we will add the repeater. And the helpers, you will find the repeater option. And inside the repeater, we will add the WooCommerce product builder. With the product builder loaded, you will see that the full product is loaded with related products and tabs. So we want to create our own layout. That's too much information for what we need. So we will go across to the basics and add a two column layout. We will select two columns. So we have two columns loaded and on the right hand side, you will see that we have the column. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll head over to the left hand column. We'll add an image and in that image, we will load the featured image and the size we'll select is large and we'll insert that on the left hand side. What we'll also do is we'll remove that padding that appears inside that div by default. There we have that. And also what we'll do is under the columns, we will add some spacing between the products and we'll make that 40 pixels. Right, then we'll move over to the right hand side and in the right hand side, we will move over to WooCommerce and we will add the product title to start. The product title, we will just change the font weight to 500. We will then add the product excerpt. And what we'll do is add 20 pixels below each item just to give it space before the next item. The size we'll leave as, as the default size of 16 pixels. The next thing that we'll add will be the pricing. And the price we will go with a red. We will change the font size to 40 and the font weight we will change to 500. We will add the spacing below of 20 pixels. The next thing that we'll add will be the add to cart button, product cart button. And the add to cart button, what we're going to do there is we'll change the button to red and the button hover background to red. The button typography, we will change the font size to 30 and we'll change the font weight also to 500. Right, so we've added the button and the next thing that we'll add will be the product meta. Uh, product meta. And the label typography there, we'll add a font size of 16. And to the value, we will also add a font size of 16 and we won't adjust any of the other items. We'll quickly jump back to the cart and add 20 pixels in the margin at the bottom. Then to center the information nicely against the image on the left, we will set the vertical alignment to middle. And there we've created the basic layout. We have the button, add to cart. Now some of these products will have more than one image. 
So what we'll do to make that possible is we'll head over back to the left-hand div with the image and to facilitate that we're going to add in the gallery item which is also under helpers. We'll select gallery. The source we'll select is WooCommerce. And you'll see now it will add the images. However, they don't look very nice like that. So we will change the layout to the masonry view. And then you see the images fit nicely. So with that complete, we will hit save. And then we'll go and view on the front end the new category layout. So that was the standard layout. And here we have the new layout as created using the repeater function. What we can do just to make those images pop a little bit more, we can go back to the featured image. We'll head over to advanced, we'll go to borders, we'll give it a border width of five. We'll give it a color of black, make it solid. We won't give it a border radius. What we'll then do is head over to effects. We'll go to box shadow. We'll change the color to black. We'll give it a gradient. Leave that at naught. Let's make that 10. Let's make that shadow 20. Um, give it more vertical offset. Right, and maybe make that a little bit more transparent. But there you get an idea of what's possible to make the images pop a bit more. We'll save that. We'll head over to the front end, and when we refresh, uh, still saving, when we refresh, you'll see a nice border around the image. And that's making it pop really nicely, and it even brings out the additional images in the gallery very nicely. Now, to test the functionality, let's move down, and we'll select Add to Cart. And what you'll find is when you select Add to Cart, it immediately takes me to the single product page, which is not what we want. If we head on back and I go to Add to Cart on a single product item, you'll see that it uses Ajax to add that to cart. We want a similar functionality. Now, to get that to work, the, the best way to make that happen, I found, was to use a plugin. So we'll head over back to the admin section. We'll move over to the plugins. On the plugins page, we'll scroll down and the plugin that we're going to use is called WooCommerce Cart. And we'll activate that. The plugin activated, we'll head back to the front end, we'll refresh the page. You now see that we have a cart on the right hand side. I can now add to cart and we have the Ajax functionality on the right hand side. So very nicely bringing that up. I can also use this in conjunction with the standard grid layout. Scroll up and we add it to the right hand side and I can also do that to an item with various attributes also loads it to the right hand side and one last thing to test are these images so this image doesn't enlarge on click however the images in the gallery i can select and you'll see the light box opens and returns me to the same page so that's a very nice easy way of creating a different kind of layout for products using the repeater function from oxygen builder i hope you enjoy that video Thank you for watching.